Welcome, folks. Today, we're diving into the 2025 Guide on Cybersecurity Awareness Training, a real game changer for reducing human risk um, by up to 90% with tailored simulations and role-based content. Yeah, it's fascinating how they're not just throwing generic content at everyone, but actually customizing training so employees become like the first line of defense. Exactly. It's, um, it's like turning your team into, well, a human firewall. They use these uh, phishing, vishing, smishing simulations to ensure employees can detect and uh, dodge real threats. Mm-hmm. And did you see the stats? Cutting phishing clicks by 90% is pretty staggering, especially when 82% of breaches are because of human error. Absolutely. And it's not just about simulations. The training method includes micro-learning sessions, 90-second bursts that, yeah, keep the info fresh without overwhelming employees. Right. Uh, although I wonder, isn't it a bit of an overkill to um, rely so heavily on these micro-sessions wouldn't deeper, more comprehensive modules foster more long-term learning? Good point. But the guide stresses that interactivity is key. It's not just depth, it's relevance and um, frequency. These short sessions are repeatedly refreshed so employees stay sharp. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like, you know, a fitness routine for your brain, right? Small, consistent workouts build muscle memory. Exactly. And they also incorporate gamification, real-world case studies, and behavioral analytics for real-time feedback on performance. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate the focus on behavior-based training, automatically enrolling employees in targeted training if they uh, slip up on simulations. Right. And by tailoring training to different roles, from finance to IT, it ensures that everyone... Um, gets exactly what they need to, like, counteract specific threats. Yeah. Not forgetting the free resources, too. Password security, social engineering defense, and even safe browsing practices. That really helps, especially for organizations on a tight budget. Exactly. Free cybersecurity microcourses can be a huge bonus, and they come in multiple formats like PDF, PPT, even score them for LMS integration. Right. Uh, one thing, though, the guide places a lot of emphasis on um, compliance and regulatory training. Isn't there a risk of uh, making the content feel too compliance heavy rather than genuinely engaging? I see what you mean. But the guide argues that mixing compliance with interactive and real world examples turns it into something people actually care about. It's not just about ticking boxes. It's building mm, a cyber secure enough. culture. And the role of AI in personalizing the training is um, really cutting edge. Down the line, employees might even get customized feedback based on their unique risk profile. Absolutely. AI-driven insights are reshaping how training adapts in real time. It's like having a coach who's always there to um, nudge you towards better security habits. Right. Uh, overall, this guide lays out a pretty robust framework for cutting cyber risks dramatically, from simulations to continuous assessments. Exactly. When you consider the cost of cybercrime soaring and the complex, evolving threats like deepfakes and QR code phishing, a proactive, adaptive training strategy isn't just nice to have, it's essential. Yeah, it really makes you appreciate that in 2025, Every organization must transform its workforce into its strongest security asset. Absolutely. Um, keeping security top of mind every day is how you slash risks by over 90%. That wraps our deep dive. Thanks for the engaging discussion. Right on, thanks.